guys this is my second video about Jenny of all stones from Game of Thrones my first video was very short I was in a real rush to be the first one in the world <laughs> to make a video about this song so this video will be more detailed and um, many of you have asked how I play the, my right hand the arpeggios I'll get to that a little disclaimer I'm not a professional musician and I'm not a guitar teacher this is just what I do for fun and you can look you can watch what I do and if you like it that's great so first let's talk about the chords uh, so I'm gonna write the chords here and the lyrics on the bottom okay so I'm playing with a capo on the first fret so let's go Hi. Kings who are gone, Jenny would dance with her ghosts, the ones she had lost and the ones she had found, the ones who had loved her the most, the ones who'd been gone for so very long, she couldn't remember their names, they spun This is new. Last time in my previous video, the chords were different. I changed my mind. So I'm going to F. I'm going to play an F here. And pain. She never wanted to leave. Never wanted to leave. Never wanted to leave. These were the chords. Now let's talk about the right hand. So, a really, really long time ago, I used to play classical guitar when I was a kid. I forgot all of my classical pieces, but my hands remember the position and the technique, kind of. So, I'm playing with a classical hand position with my fingers I don't play with picks I don't know for me it seems very difficult to play with a pick but you know there's so many different ways to play guitar which is great so <sighs> arpeggios if you've never played arpeggios before with your fingers mm, it will be challenging in the beginning you have to practice a lot it, you have to really get a feel for this position you know what? I'm going to make another video about uh, arpeggios for beginners. Let's just assume that you know how to play arpeggios, okay? So <laughs> look what I'm doing. This is what I'm doing. Here, I'm going to play it like that. Oops. Mm -hmm. So, bass. Hi. And then I'm playing... So it looks like a triangle. You know what? I'm going to put a picture here. I like to visualize everything. And this is the way I see it. Like three mountains. Three beautiful mountains. Triangular mountains. So... Now it changes. Kings who are gone. Since I don't have enough time to play the, the mountains, <laughs> I by the way, I made it up. It's I don't think there is a term like that. This is not a musical term. I like I call it the mountain, <laughs> the mountain pattern. <laughs> so first I have time to play the mountains. And then I don't. I only have the, I can only play the do 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 do. I think I'm not doing the best job explaining this, but whatever. <laughs> High in the homes of the kings who are gone, 
Jenny, now we have time to do the mountains again. Jenny would dance with her ghosts. Yeah, so it pretty much alternates between the mountains and the just da da da. So I think you understand, right? You understand? Do you understand? Write in the comments if you understand what I'm saying. Um, if you get confused about this, just Mm, in the beginning, just play the bass or play like boom, like this. High in the homes of the kings who are gone, Jenny would dance with her ghosts. Get used to that and then play like the bass, play the bass. And try to fill in the, the empty space with your fingers. Bum, 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 you know. Now let's jump to the chorus. Spun away all her sorrows and pain. And she never wanted to be. Never wanted to be. Never You know what? Now when I'm playing this, I I don't even pay it, like it just happens naturally, okay? Just if you try if you vision if you feel the bass and if you just let your finger if you practice the arpeggios, I'll make another video about different exercises you can do. Um, it will come naturally to you. So if it feels complicated, then you probably just need more practice with arpeggios. Because your fingers will know, they will feel the right pattern. You know, like when I'm playing it, I'm not even thinking about what notes I'm playing. I'm just thinking about the chord and my fingers are just filling in space. Yeah, I guess I didn't do the best job in the world <laughs> explaining these arpeggios. But hopefully if you already know how to play arpeggios, you got it, right? So <laughs> thank you for watching. And um, see you next time.